since since I am a real estate agent and I work with my mother and you worked with my mother to to buy your house, like, can can you give me a little bit of that experience of what what buying in Borum Hill was like and what what drew drew you to your house? Was it the neighborhood? Was it the house? Was it you know aesthetic? Mom said that there was like some really horrible art in your basement. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I don't even remember. oh I don't I, I forgot about that <laughs> that's right I think we sold it at the Atlantic Antic yes, that's I what forgot I forgot that well it's so long ago it's like 16 years ago yeah you know so I mean basically it the first thing was we're moving to Brooklyn and mm -hmm. there were several reasons I've been in Tribeca in my loft my entire adult life from 25 to 50. Mm -hmm. And I just knew I had to move once. Right. You know, I'm, I'm not a mover, I'm a settler. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I moved into my loft like December, 30 days of September, April, June, November, 31st, uh, 1975. And I left 25 years later. So um, my sister and my nieces and brother-in-law all live in Brooklyn. And the first time my sister like left the village and moved into 135 Eastern Parkway to Turner Towers. Uh -huh. I got out of Turner the subway. Towers is kind of cool. Yeah, but it, it was really funky then when she moved. <laughs> it was like 35 years ago, but I got out of the subway from Chambers Street to Eastern Parkway. And I was like, I want to live in Brooklyn. The minute I got out of the subway and it just took about 10 more years to get it together. To, to do it. And it was definitely the aesthetics because I didn't know mm -hmm. anything about the neighborhoods. Patty went to Brooklyn College and when I met her, lived in Carroll Gardens, but it was all Greek to me. I knew nothing. I, I, I'd mm -hmm. never taken the train to Brooklyn. You know, I didn't know from the F. I only, I knew the AC, but I, only in the other direction, <laughs> only North. I didn't have <laughs> to know South and I didn't know you'd go across the platform to get, the, you know, none of the, all that was new. But we, we're looking around, um, and Patty said, we're getting a two-family house. And I said, what's a two-family house? Because I had no, I mean, I was a loft person who, you know. Yeah. I didn't know anything about this. So, and every place we looked at was basically the same house. And we mm -hmm. looked from Prospect Heights. We, we looked with Sue. I guess, I don't remember who else we looked with, but we saw several houses and it kept being basically the same house. Mm -hmm. The three story with the rental either on the top or the bottom. Right. You know, we thought four story, well, we couldn't afford it. We couldn't afford the four story. The next story was just a bridge too far. Right. And, um, and it was that house. It was particularly that house. That was the one we really, really liked. I didn't know about Wyckoff Gardens and Gowanus. I didn't know anything about projects. I just mm -hmm. liked the house. And um, and we didn't get it. And then it came back. And we saw it with the with the apple tree in bloom in the back. I mean, the, sorry, the cherry tree in the back. Uh -huh. Definitely when you want to sell your house, when the cherry tree is blooming. Mm -hmm. It was so gorgeous. And that was it. We got the house. It came back. It but was we, meant to be. Yeah, I mean, we... It, this is my feeling about love and real estate is it's karma. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it was obviously meant to be. And we kept bidding on literally we had three bids, I think, and missed out on all of them. And then this one came back. And if I tell you, it was basically the same house, just on different blocks. And Borham Hill ended up perfect because it was so close to Manhattan. And I didn't even know that, you know, I just liked the house and the potential in the garden. And, um, Patty really liked the rental downstairs. Mm -hmm. It was, and it was obviously meant to, I mean, we've been there 16 years, which is almost impossible. And. Well, you know, we knew we wanted a house. I lived in a small co-op. I didn't want to live in a co-op again. That was too problematic. Um, never lived in an apartment, so I would never think about an apartment. And it was really great to be in a house again. Like I grew up in a house. It was great to be in a house. For me, it was great to have doors and rooms, which I didn't have in my <laughs> oh, loft so for 25 Tribeca. years. <laughs> yeah, it was just like the only door was the bathroom, and that was literally the only door in the place. There was 
really, it was just an open space and it was fantastic to have rooms. And mm -hmm. also, you know, I really like 19th century architecture and this house is like 1850-ish and yeah. technically Greek revival. And it's, I just love that time period. I mean, even my loft was from 1864. So right. it's not like, you know, it's just like the 19th century architecture is just, I love it. And it's just been great having a house. I mean, I love having a house. It's just so satisfying. 